Looking to share the love and your keyboard and mouse? Here are the 10 best PC games for couples. As much as we enjoy being lone wolves taking on endless universes single-handedly, sometimes it's nice to realise that you don't have to do everything on your own. Games are just as much fun shared, and there's something truly joyous about sitting down to your PC with a loved one and arguing gently over who's going to serve up a burger. From space battles and warehouse organisation to physics and Lego bricks, there's something for everyone here. In no particular order then, here are the best PC games to play as a couple. Let's break it down. Caged space bunnies scattered across the universe that represent all that's good in the world? Oh, go on. It's time to battle the forces of anti-love and show everyone that happiness can save the day after all. Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time doesn't sound like a brilliant co-op shooter that lets you drive a neon spaceship and destroy aliens, but here we are. This opposite of Calm Sim demands you take control of lasers, shields and the engine of a sphere hurtling across the galaxy. And if it's not clear, communication is absolutely key. Is anyone truly using a shield if they aren't repeatedly shouting, I'm trying to protect us, but you're going to have to slaughter the thing that wants to dissolve the ship? It's also worth saying that while it's absolutely possible and great fun with two people, throwing in an extra pair of space hands comes in very handy. So maybe get a friend or perhaps even make it a double date. We made an entire video about exactly the reasons we like playing games more boring than our everyday jobs. And that was long before Matt and I had the organisational pleasure of Wilmot's Warehouse. On the surface, it just shouldn't be fun. Taking deliveries of complex arrays of items, only to have to store them in an order that makes sense to you, and then try and remember where you've put them. It's a bit like finally putting your clean washing away and then someone giving you a test on which order you stacked your socks. And yet, it's a joy. You can always jump in on your own, but adding an extra player adds a distinctly new element. How you categorise random objects just won't be the same as your significant other. Whether you class by colour or, in our case, have a terrifyingly macabre death section, it's entirely up to you. Or the one who shouts the loudest. It's pretty much all in the title, but TikTok, a tale for two, absolutely demands the presence of double humans. This is a dark tale spun across two screens. And the nice thing is that you don't even both have to be sitting in front of a PC. One of you could be playing on PC and the other on an iPad or even Nintendo Switch. As long as you can both speak, you can play together. Cleverly, TikTok is all about talking about what you can see in order to progress. These puzzles take two brains and two different points of view, and there's something truly satisfying as you constantly communicate. What might seem like something small and insignificant for one of you might actually be exactly the solution you need. Prepare for lots of clocks and trying not to get too grumpy when someone misses something vitally important. Being in a relationship isn't about blame. It's about love, compassion, sharing and understanding. That is, until Mugman dies on the way to revive Cuphead, just when a mega boss's health bar is almost at zero. Yeah, you'd think that Studio MDHR's bullet hell platformer would be easier with two people. But no, it's just like playing on your own, but with the added stress of someone else dying in your ear. And yet, somehow it's still glorious. Making your way through Cuphead as a duo is a transcendental experience. Every single success is illiterate. Every death, a chance to learn and do better next time. We joke a lot about falling out over games, but once you get over the fact that everyone is human and has to fail every so often, Cuphead will remind you how glorious it is to win together. Celebrating with something stronger than tea is recommended. Victory! Oh, look, 
Portal 2 on another games list. The terminal velocity-filled gift that keeps on giving, Portal 2 isn't just one of the best stories or even puzzlers out there. It also just happens to have an exceptional co-op adventure just sitting there in the menu. And you can play it in split-screen. A completely different story from the main game, here you take on the mechanical roles of Atlas and Peabody, two robots that really don't deserve the abuse they get from GLaDOS as they make their way through the cooperative testing initiative. Just like the single-player experience, you'll be testing your wits and firing holes in walls. But, of course, things are considerably more complicated with double the logic to solve. Expect to communicate in all new ways when it comes to these complex brain teasers. No, we don't just mean with expletives. At any rate, you don't have a way to communicate that you feel pain. I consider that a failing, by the way. Aristotle describes love as a single soul inhabiting two bodies. And Human Fall Flat describes it as two waddling, childlike jelly bean humans clambering over each other to reach that slightly out of reach platform. Because as much as you have to work together in this physics-based fail up a lot of your time will be spent waiting, complaining, and wondering why your partner keeps failing the jump that you made first time. And it's precisely because it's a tricky, often cumbersome game that it's so good with two people. Because suddenly, what should be a gloriously simple task, like moving a box or pressing a button, becomes a five-minute exercise in immaculately planned cooperation. Yes, you you did manage to put the big box on the special switch, didn't you? You were clearly made for each other. You're like the Cleopatra and Mark Antony of functioning normally. Most of the multiplayer games here involve small investments of your time. You jump in with a friend, solve some puzzles, then go on your merry way. But Larian Studios' incredible Divinity Original Sin 2 is different. It's likely to keep you and your significant other occupied for over 60 hours rather than just 60 minutes. Which is exactly why it's ideal if you both love playing games. And over the course of the game's sweeping story, you'll get plenty of opportunity to work together. But it gets better. As well as the jolly cooperation, you'll also have the opportunity to hoard a disproportionate amount of gold and subtly derail your partner's plans. For example, one player might choose a dialogue option that another absolutely doesn't agree with. But there's no going back. You'll have to live with the consequences and press on regardless. And if that's not the perfect analogy for married life, I don't know what is. Is that thing eating corpses? It was a seriously heated cook-off between Diner Bros and Overcooked for the best kitchen-based game to play with your other half. Given that we've played more of Team 17's grub em up than might actually be healthy, we've chosen Diner Bros as your special of the day this time around. Sure, it'll start off simple, with you constructing burgers for hungry customers, but it quickly descends into organised chaos as people start demanding even more arriving at their tables. Milkshakes are only the beginning as you desperately try and keep up with orders while shouting salad very loudly at your significant other. We also recommend that you don't play this hungry. Not only will hanger seriously reduce your productivity, the construction of all that unhealthy food will absolutely encourage the opening of your favourite delivery app. Where exactly the same thing will probably be happening in real life. At Logitech G, we're all about co-op games where you can kick your partner off a boat. That's not the only reason we love Pikuniku, but it is a very good one. And potentially reason alone to watch Matt and I's Let's Play after you've watched this video. Sure, you can play this colourful puzzler on your own, but add an extra player and you can take part in the specific co-op campaign that demands double trouble. Here, you'll find inventive tests of your combined brain power that probably have a much simpler, more elegant solution than the one you'll try repeatedly. Add in the fact that it's utterly charming to boot, and Pikuniku is a perfect way to hide from the cold weather together and snuggle up on the sofa. It might be an uncomfortably spiky embrace, but let's face it, Lego Hogwarts is basically a giant plastic hug. 
The collection of Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4 and 5 to 7 are the ultimate in two-player comfort food. It's like settling down to dinner at your house table in the Great Hall and seeing pizza and perfect burgers just for you. Whether you're learning Lumos together, knocking out trolls or just running around the perfectly recreated school grounds, you and your partner will have a truly magical time. Who needs to spend all that cash on flights to go to the wizarding world of Harry Potter when you can make friends with a plastic mute wizard and destroy every Lego brick in sight? Even better is the fact that once you've become a true wizard in every level and caught the collecty smashy plastic bug, there's every other Lego game to play in two-player as well. Sorry. Mostly. So that's the 10 best games to play in a couple or just with a really good friend. Let us know if we've missed your favourites in the comments below, drop us a like if you've enjoyed the co-op chaos, and don't forget to subscribe to Logitech G for more videos just like this one.